morning. Welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. Now, taking you back to the reign of Queen Mary I, in fact, just after she'd come to the throne. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 30th of July, 1553, Elizabeth, the daughter of King Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn, left her new home, Somerset House, to ride to Wanstead and greet her half-sister, Mary, England's new queen. Elizabeth had moved into Somerset House, a house just off the Strand on the north bank of the River Thames, just the previous day. Mary had been proclaimed Queen Mary I on the 19th of July in London, following her successful overthrow of Queen Jane, or Lady Jane Grey, who'd been queen for just 13 days. Mary had managed to rally support, particularly in East Anglia, and the earls of Pembroke and Arundel had managed to turn Jane's counsel to Mary's cause. Elizabeth had been at her estate at Hatfield when she heard that Mary had taken the throne, and she set off on horseback for London, entering via Fleet Street on the 29th of July and riding on to Somerset House. The contemporary source, the Chronicle of Queen Jane and of two years of Queen Mary and especially of the rebellion of Sir Thomas Wyatt, states, The Lady Elizabeth's Grace came the 29th of July to Somerset Place, well accompanied with gentlemen and others right strongly, and there she rested a night, and the morrow ensuing she went through Cheapside to meet the Queen's Grace to Londonwoods, who is looked for the 3rd or 4th of August. Chronicler and Windsor Herald Charles Risley backs this up. The 30th of July, Lady Elizabeth Grace, sister to the Queen's Highness, rode from her place at Strand, where she'd lion the night of fall, through the city of London at 12 of the clock in the forenoon, being Sunday, and rode out at Olgate towards the Queen's Highness, accompanied with a thousand horses of gentlemen, knights, ladies, and their servants. Elizabeth met up with Mary at Wanstead on Wednesday, the 2nd of August, 1553. Somerset House was the former home of Edward Seymour, the first Duke of Somerset, who'd acted as Lord Protector for Elizabeth's half-brother, King Edward VI, between 1547 and 1549. Somerset had built the house during his protectorate, using stones scavenged from the charnel house of St Paul's Cathedral. It had cost him £10,000 to build and was built in a Renaissance style. After Somerset's fall and subsequent execution in 1552, John Dudley, Duke of Northumberland and the new leader of Edward VI Council, offered Somerset House to Elizabeth in return for her acquiescence to him taking Durham Place, Elizabeth's townhouse. Even though Somerset House had only been completed in 1550 and Somerset had not exactly used it much, historian David Starkey writes that £900 was spent on preparing the house for its new royal mistress in 1553. Starkey also points out that the keeper of the house was no other than Robert Dudley, Northumberland's son and Elizabeth I's childhood friend. Somerset House was demolished in the late 18th century after it fell into disrepair. The present neoclassical Somerset House was built on the site of the old one at the turn of the 19th century. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 30th of July 1540, in the reign of King Henry VIII, men of both the Catholic faith and the Reformed faith were executed in London. How strange is that? You can find out more about that in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. You'll find the link in the description. Now, if you're wondering what that strange buzzing sound is, it's a rather loud cicada in the garden. Very loud. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. And you can give me a like and leave me a comment. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.